Show twizi. My brother, show stizi. <laughs> Kila mwana wa mtu mkuru. Tie, sitako sasa. Ndoni ke. Wacha sanitize na mtu mwako chimutu chako chikuru. Ndoni ke. Wacha. Ah, proper. Show sta wacha. Yeah, I'm good, man. Good to see you, my brother. Uh, I can't complain. Um good to see you too. Yeah. I can uh, see you got things going on very nicely. Yeah. Everyone is talking about you around town. Oh please. Everybody's talking about you. <laughs> I was talking about people are talking about uh the diary conversations. You're, yeah, and it's a good thing. It's a good thing. And, and I thought I should have you. I mean you've never had had me on, on, on your interviews before. Uh, I don't know why you've never bothered to call me. <laughs> I, will have I, you. I, I think you. I, I think you're thinking I won't give you proper content, <laughs> but you'd be surprised. You'll be surprised that you can fuck up. We're one hundred and fifty thousand views. You we're know, checking up on monetization, but I'm done. I was at the most. And then you know what? Then because of when you talk about monetization, um, yeah. it goes with numbers. Yeah. So also it goes with um, relevance. Yeah. So sometimes I get people like asking me like oh my can I be my artist by for sure no, 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 like no the, the show is not just about artists it's about anybody or yeah. whichever menoma pianga street yeah but there just has to be a conversation some sort of relevance there yeah, so yeah. If there's no relevance or the biggest artist there's certain artists that I've not had on my show yeah because I'm just waiting for the right time yeah. it's not just about controversy sometimes it's just I'm just looking for the right conversation yeah that's yeah. true yeah. it's very true i mean you have to keep people entertained like you know for me to constantly go back to your channel and you know just watch because i, I know what to expect and i know there's going to be some sparks and i always it, it, like you always do this when there's a bit of a controversy like when an artist like when you call juvig yeah. or that you know and you know when you when you let's click you like to click bait <laughs> when you put up that little clip i knew it was going to be very interesting so yeah but you, but you know it, it's not really click better as they say I'll, I'll tell you this mm -hmm. when i have like a normal conversation i'll give you a very a perfect example mm. do you know how chefy is one like probably the biggest artist that we have right now in the country yeah it's, that one is up for a debate but things yeah one of the biggest so it's fine one yeah. Of the biggest, yeah yeah i have him on the show and i just put normal headlines it didn't get as much views, but it's chef one it's up. Yeah. But you can um, you, you can imagine how much views you could have gotten if I just did yeah, those like, headlines. Yeah, if you put like so a people love those headlines. Yeah, so that's why, true. Why not give them give it to them? People want something interesting, yeah. you know. People don't want ordinary, people don't want boring, you know, and I think that's the reason why I came up with this diary conversation because what diary conversation does is that it brings out everything, you know, like there's no holding back. So like from doing the songs of the diary songs the now bringing up the diary conversation it brings like a different dimension because now people want to know you know what shows like what this shows that go through to be where he is you know does he have any skeletons in in in, in his drawers and you know that sort of thing so uh <clears throat> yeah so I'm, I'm happy to have this conversation with you because I, and also i love to have people that i have a relationship with so it's easy for me to to come up with the conversation because i've known you for more than 10 years too and, much, too and i like just bringing anybody that of course might have the hype and not but if i but if i never had the, in the book yeah so it, it won't be like conversation because we don't have history you know with each like other so, exactly question one exactly and, and I, I never really wanted to do that so uh with you first of all before we get into it shows i just want to say that um i love your hustle man you know you, man. um uh you might know this but you might not know but i i i somehow get inspired Really you know appreciate. that whole thing of when you started doing the show on tv then bring it on youtube it inspired me i always wanted to have like a like a youtube channel where i could do my content but you know it's one of those where i always wanted it to be the right content yes ideally i was gonna do like behind the scene like you know me making like, you know i've done that before but you know that's a cliche everybody does that everybody comes yeah. on and oh you know this is how i made the beat yeah, i yeah, started yeah, with yeah. the chords yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying I, you know i was gonna do that but either way i find that to be a bit of a cliche so um i i i moved away from that and i decided look um i'm gonna do, do something, something different yeah so i thought about this diary conversation like a long time ago but i didn't know how I was going to execute it so i but needed did, to did you, did you when you were thinking about it did you come up with a name or it just came up to no i mean even the diary just it just came you know for me it, it's never a situation where i have to think of something it just it just comes to me it just i'll just be sitting and it just comes to me and it's like i'm gonna do something you know i remember telling my wife like i'm 
you know, I'm doing the diary songs that I want to do diary conversation. And that's how the name came about, Diary Conversation. Then, you know, I briefly explained and I shot the first episode. Remember last year yeah, on, yeah, on, on yeah. my we're, birthday? We're, we're, we're here. Yeah. So this, this, I, I've had this idea in my head for like a year before I even started it. So when, 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 we're doing, when we came for your birthday too, when you were shooting that scenario, did you know you were, you were going to turn into... That was Diary Conversation. Yeah. That, that was the first episode of Diary Conversation. Yeah. I was supposed to continue from there, but, you know, like I had a lot of things that were holding me back that I needed to until this time when I thought, you know what, this is the right time. You know, so I got I got the content from Wenya and I gave it to this guy. Yeah. Because I was gentleman. looking for somebody, yeah, this gentleman to edit it for me and I told him my my idea of what I wanted to do. So he got it, he understood what I wanted, then he put it together. So that one was pretty much like an intro, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so I'm, and that's the reason why I'm having you back because we didn't really have so much like even Maki too, we, we spoke but you know it was not There wasn't like much yeah to get from Maki Exactly, because, because there's a lot of us. Knows, yeah. Exactly. So I'll try and bring everybody back so we can have like a one-on-one, -on -one, like, you know, yeah, me yeah, and you. Cool. So again, like I said, you know, I got inspired. I saw what you're doing. Your YouTube movement was pretty good. I started Thank to you, do man. my own research, you know, like there's so many ways people are consuming content now. And, you know, everybody now is 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 online now, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, online, yeah. That's how people are consuming the content. So you don't have to wait for a TV station or... You don't have to wait for 15 hours or 19 hours to get news. Exactly. Or for somebody to come and say, listen, you know, uh, we'll pay you this. We'll put You can put your own content, get the numbers, monetize your channel and start to make your own money off it. And I figured, you know what? It's a route that I like to take. I, I like to try everything. You know, I, I started off first as a rapper. Then I became a radio DJ. But I, 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 I've, I've been a fan. I can't lie to you. I've been a fan, KB. Uh, yeah. I know. I remember the Desert Eagle days. I had your songs. Yeah. You've been superstar for days, man. Yeah. Um, I remember. So you're saying I inspired you? A lot. A lot. <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you this, killer. Um, can I tell my story since I'm your guest? Yeah. yeah. So um, I remember the days when you're. Uh, I don't know. I think you guys had a studio at Carousel Mall or something. Was yeah, Mall? no, that wasn't my studio. That was Digital X. So I used to spend a lot of time with Ray Do, Willie Jinx, Ray Do. Yeah. Who was in Desert Eagle though? Oh no, Desert Eagle then was me, Ray Do, and Fofo, my cousin. Fofo, yeah. Yeah, that's the time we were rapping. So yeah, we used to be found at 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 at, at uh, what place is that again? Uh, Carousel. Carousel. It was Carousel. Yeah. It was Carousel. Yeah, I've been your fans. Those yeah. Days. So um, you followed it. I, I later followed you guys split or something. Ray Do had his own studio. And well, we didn't exactly split. It was pretty much everybody got busy. I mean, Ray Do was involved in production because he was making music for Slab D. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, and you know, and, and I was. I was on radio and I was about to open my own studio. Mm -hmm. Then Fofo was the only one who was still active. So, you know, we had different priorities. He wanted to produce, I wanted to produce because I didn't think I was the best rapper. So, so I'm going to tell you um, what happened then. This is something I've never said on camera. <clears throat> um, when I was following you sometime in 2006, mm. December 2005, just after because I, I wrote in the uh, that, that was when I wrote my Gretro in 2000. Oh, 2005. Yeah. You're young. So, yeah, I finished. I, I finished pretty young actually. Uh, yeah. I was. I was 17. Okay. Yeah, I was 17 in 2005. So yeah. Um, my best friend then, dad was working. His dad was working for Palma Meats. He was marketing manager. Mm -hmm. So after school, <clears throat> we didn't have anything to do. So as we were waiting for results, mm -hmm. we got us a job. So I was a butcher assistant for some time. Um. Then uh, after like I think I just worked for three months. But then when we were working as butcher assistants, uh, my, my best friend's dad, I think he liked me very much because I used to spend time at his house. Mm -hmm. uh, Max used to come by my place also. So we were not like, they knew me by his place. He was also not at the house. So I think I was a butcher assistant for about three months. Then I opened my own branch. So you know how you're just like 18 and you are manning like parents, you know how it is. Mm -hmm. So it was nice like that. So anyway, uh, when I was doing that, so I used to spend a lot of time in the shop. So I'd listen to, and that's because I. I Why do I, I get a feeling your story is similar to my story? I don't know where you put your ears. I used to work in a pharmacy, and I think I know where it's going. And I had to had a, I had a radio. And so you have a radio, I, yeah. And you're listening to these guys, but with me, I'd, 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 I've been listening to you guys or QFM and radio way before, like grade eight, grade nine. I, I'd follow Smooth IK, mm -hmm. and even when this new wave kind of radio came up, yeah, I, I, I caught up and started listening. So yeah, um. How did I meet you guys? First of all, I'm going to tell you a story about how I met you. Was yeah. On a bus. <laughs> that was on a bus? Yeah, it was on a bus. I think you I think you were staying in McKinney Simpson. Yeah, it was McKinney Simpson. So McKinney Simpson, right? Yeah. So at some point, we, I knew you somehow. I don't know. There was no social media or TV then. Mm -hmm. But I knew you because I was a, I was a big fan. Mm -hmm. um, there was a time when you... We used to stay in the same neighborhood with Boogie C, actually. 
Mackenzie was like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't yeah, know those things. Was, was thing. like, yeah. So anyway, we, we, we got on a bus at City Market. I was at the back seat, and then you uh, in the front seat. Uh, went somewhere, pakati pakati pakati, bus time in the Then you picked up a call. Then we were talking, you know, boy, and I had your number. Then I texted you. I said something like, um, we can't remember. Yeah. I uh, this is Shan Shan Shan, and then I've just seen you get off the bus, Shan Shan. I think I, I remember that moment. Did I like, respond? I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember, but I don't think you were big headed or anything. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so that's how you met me. That's how I, that's the first time I think I ever had a conversation with you. But then how um, I met the QFM guys because uh, I used to listen to QFM a lot. Mm-hmm. I always wanted to be on QFM. Anyway. I think that's why I'm even here. And you are there now. <laughs> I've done that show. The show I'm doing, I I, I never imagined I would do the breakfast, the breakfast show. show. Him. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, LBC used to do the show. LBC do. Come on. <laughs> so you just. With LBC, you're just like a fan, but you don't imagine one day taking, you know, yeah. taking up the show. So uh, one day you guys had like some sort of a competition, and you were, I don't know, you invited your fans to come to um, arcades. I don't know whatever you guys are doing. Uh-huh. So I was a big fan, so I came. So I met Life. Life had that hit show on Saturdays. It used to be called uh, Local for, Western. Yeah, Local Western. Yeah. Local song. Local song versus Western. Versus Western yeah. I, I, I think I would never call, but I'd always listen. So we came, um, exchanged numbers with Life, and he told me come through next Saturday. You guys were still at Indigo then. Mm-hmm. So I remember, I remember this uh, very well. When I came, he was alone at the studio, so he got me into the studio. Then um, he put me on the guest seat. Then he gave me headsets. So he started doing his thing, and I'm just admiring. You know, I'm like, oh, one day I'm going to do this. You know. Then when I was about to leave, um, he introduced me to Flavor. I think Flavor was just about starting radio then. I didn't no, even... no, Flavor had already started. Flavor, because Flavor started from. Flavor was one of the first people I actually found. Flavor at QFM. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's just a Flavor used to do the graveyard shit. From what I'm saying. I used to listen. I, like I used to listen to Q. Like do you know how in 2005 when I was writing my guitar, mm. so I would um, study with music. I was study with QFM. Mm. So I used to. I knew. The whole, the whole, all the DJs, yeah, the whole yeah, yeah, like from Monday to Monday. Yeah, I used to do the drive time show then. Yeah, then you used to do the drive. Yeah, yeah. I remember very well, Killer. Um, was three or the midday acceleration with the yeah, th- three was doing the midday acceleration 2005, mid morning. I think it was Yoko, breakfast was LBC, then after me, was it Daddy O? Yeah, Daddy O from 18 to yeah, then Rekas was had that controversial show. Was it his. before what that was before Rekas? I think, was it no, before no, that was. Not? Flight 10 or 2, that was 2005, I remember. 2005? Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, I just I don't remember the years, but yeah, around that. So anyway, how I met these guys, I met Flavor. Then, I think you never used to hang out as much, so I would, at some point I would find Boogie C, I would find LBC, Ray Gust, then we'd go, I'm going to pick up my buy, and she's in front of me. Pick up our Huggins for Monday, for Java. There used to be a Huggins on Monday, I don't know if you remember. Yeah, I remember, of course, I remember. So we'd sit there, you know, I would hear the guys tell stories here and there. So the guys are like Raycast and um, and Flavor. We we became friends. Mm-hmm. So we became friends. Um, we would hit, we would hook up once or once or twice. But with Flavor, I think with Flavor, we took it to to a level where we would meet up every weekend. We'd be hanging out. So you know. Oh, so you and Flavor became friends. We became friends. Yeah, me and Flavor became just just like friends. Like we would do stuff together off radio. You know, when he's on radio, I listen to him. But then you had just, not joined radio then. No, I had not. Um, then time came, I went to, because there was no space for radio for, on, 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 on your station then. Uh, I went to meet uh, Kalumba. Case match. Yeah. Mm. So Kalumba told me, um, yeah, you've got interest for radio, so maybe you should start with my radio station, Monga Kahone FM. So. <laughs> <laughs> At Monga Kahone FM. I remember his words. When you gain your ground, then we can get you here. It was still at Hort, um, and then it was opposite QFM. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, so, and then not long from then, they called for uh, in, Audition. uh, auditions at Hort, yeah. Like maybe two, three hundred people. There were students and just other people. Two hundred students? Yeah, yeah. Mick, you know, you know Mick. Mick can tell of you. Of course, I, Mick know, I remember you. Mick. Mick should tell you. So, and Mick was just, came, came, like, you know what? I'm only giving priority to the students. And I was not a student then. Oh, you're not a student? Then I was not a student. Uh. I'm only giving projects to the students, so uh, chan 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 chan. I'm mean, this rude guy. Fine, I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> so um, it, it, they picked like three of us: me, uh, a guy called Kilo, and I um, remember Kilo. Kilo, yeah, yeah. And some gentleman. Um, I think that guy just lasted for three weeks or so, and then he stopped. What was his name? I can't remember. He, I don't remember. He just did it for three weeks. Not even some guy would remember. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah, so that's how radio started. We did graveyard killer. I mean killer from for like a year, midnight to three. <laughs> graveyard shift. I never. That's the only shift I've never done. Before. You've never? No. Oh yeah. Well, on training, like when I started training on a choice of him, I, I did it for like two weeks. Then I was picked. Like you know, my intake was me, Glinks, Luchi, and a couple other people. I was the first one to be picked. Then I was picked out. Then I was put with Tony to learn. Then I was given the. 18 to 22 shift. I was lucky. So they from how, there. How long did it take from the time you were training to you were given the 18? Two weeks. Just two weeks. I was just on training for two weeks. With us, we you we, you had like the guys who are very good on radio, mm-hmm. and they are just available for their shows. So there's no way you can just jump on a show. So the best shot you have is when maybe when um, a guy who has maybe a lunchtime show is not available, then he calls you go and sit in for me. Yeah. So you have a chance to go and just show. Be, your yeah. You know, um, also things like that. So sometimes you used to at home, Ash man. We used to. You can be on radio. Your your show is coming at midnight to six. I mean midnight to three. Then the eighteen hours guy is not around. The twenty one hours guy is not around. So you're on radio that long. Yeah, I remember. Because then now you're just enjoying. You know, being on radio. Because now it's it's like um, it's prime time for you. Like you're never on radio this early. So. Yeah. So you have to be there, and then you also have to do your shift. So guys used to do like, but but I end up doing eighteen hours. I choke up on a zero three. <laughs> but how do you used to manage that? Well, you love radio and you want to grow your brand, but then you you feel your shift is not good enough. So you use that as yeah, you use the time. So, so you came through from yeah. So but anyway, it's, it's not it's not all the time. Like it's not all the time. But then I think just after some time, um, because of guys giving me those same shifts, the boss heard like. Wait, who's this guy? And I'm like, ah, this is the guy who's been doing graveyard for this from this time. No, can you give this guy this show? So that's how I got my downgraded to 18 hours. As yeah, given. is that the time when you called me for an interview? What show did you used to do the first that, time you called me? That one was um, I was given when I was downgraded from midnight. I was given 18 hours on Thursday, um, 18 to 21, and then I was given Tuesday 21 to midnight. I, it was a Tuesday show. To the Tuesday show, mm-hmm. but then I think I, I the Tuesday show became very big. Mm-hmm. So I would actually have guys like you who would come through, like from nowhere. I'd, like, I mean, you are KB, and I, was, I like listening to you, and we are being a producer. And I, and I already started my music production yeah, journey. Yes, you started. You said you had already started producing then, so it was easy. <clears throat> I call you. I can tell you that on a Tuesday, on the Tuesday evening show, the one I I, I remember very well. I used to call it the Voyage. Um, the Voyage, uh, it's where we premiered uh, PJ's album uh, with uh, with B Flow. Oh, the double trouble. The double, with, no, 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 uh. was it no, no, the actual, the future. It was before, oh, the, it was before, before the double they, trouble, before they dropped, the, before they the, the double trouble. It, okay, they told me, uh, this the, the album is not officially out, mm. so radio is gonna kill us <coughs> if he has it here, but we have to. So, we premiered that album, um, they came the, the two of them in the, at night. Mm-hmm. So we, we played played some songs. Played Chameli Changa for the first time. Oh seriously? Yeah, we played. This was two thousand and eight, two thousand and nine. Yes, uh, two thousand and nine. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Two thousand nine. Yeah. So we premiered those songs at night. Actually, I don't know how. I don't know, but I don't remember if it was the same day though. Me and Bivlo went to spend the night at my house. I think he couldn't go back to his house. It was, mm-hmm. a, bit, it was a bit further, so we went by my place. And then here's what happened. Mm. Bifla is gonna kill me for this. Mm. Um, so where I was staying, mm-hmm. um, they used to lock the gate. Mm-hmm. Now, usually what we used to do is uh, when I'm doing the, the show from 21 to midnight, I'll probably sleep somewhere. Even from college, there are a lot of places where I could sleep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then I'm with my friends, so we have to go home. So there's no cab just down there. So we had to walk around after midnight. Actually, we had to walk like you know from from Evenhorn. Then we started walking towards Zesco. I think we found a cab somewhere close to the school there. You didn't cool. find those street kids that beat up? No, they didn't beat us up. So we didn't find so them. lucky. <laughs> <laughs> now, fortunately, so we got home. But the gate was valid. But then we got a gate. We're not going to get a gate. Because Biflo has always been like. Um, he's never treated himself like, hey, I'm a superstar. I'm no, a, I'm a... until today. <laughs> he's always been, even today, like, he's always been this good guy and he's very down to earth. Like, we, we can just, you know, how I, I knew this. B- but he's a superstar. He's hanging out with Obama. That's now. what I'm saying. Like, he's never treated himself like I'm a superstar. So, like, he's a superstar. Mm-hmm. You know how he would follow me, like, he's he, when he's promoting an album or whatever, he'll call me wherever I am. Where are you? I'm this side. 
stuff. And and I know this is I'm not the only guy is following. <coughs> He's doing this to all these artists. And I'm looking at this guy. I'm like, this guy is serious. This is like a long time ago, like a plastic. Mm. Like a like CD. About DJ Shosta. Mm. Yeah, it was organized. I'm like, this guy needs to be promoted. Because mm-hmm. it's, it's it's little it's small things like that that shows how much you, how serious you are in terms of branding and just presentation. Yeah. So I'm like, this this guy really needs all this. So we've been friends, you know, from that time. So yeah, I don't know what else I've been saying. But anyway, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah. Talking. Yeah. No, that's very interesting, actually. <laughs> so um, fast forward. I had uh, those shows that became kind of big and whatnot. Um, then there's a, there's a song that almost got, got me off radio. Um, so I became comfortable thinking. What song almost got you off radio? Mm, the song called Vainzi. Vainzi. Yeah. Boyd Vainzi. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That almost got you off radio. Yeah, yeah. Um, what Mixmaster? Mixmaster used to rule by the Iron Fist, <laughs> so what? he never, he never used to, he never used to take nonsense. Okay, he was just like he was, he was, he was, he was the boss anyway. Yeah, Mixmaster, I remember. <laughs> so um, I don't know what, I don't know what I said about the song. Um, it was just a comment like, um, I think I, was, I was just against, you know. It was just against the song somehow, but I liked the song. It was a big song. Yeah. So I don't well, know what I said. Something stupid. Not really stupid. I was just saying something like I don't remember what I said, but I, was, I think I was complimenting women, but I was just again going against the song. Uh. So someone brought it up in the meeting. So Mick, being the boss, said, uh, "You know where? A long time ago, away. It's where you. The only time you know when you're going on radio is when you come and you find the timetable. You're still on the timetable. So the following week, you find you're not on the timetable because you're on the punishment. Then I was on radio for like a month." Are so, you kidding me? Yeah, it was like a suspension. Yeah, but it wasn't like formal or anything. It was just someone you know, <coughs> sorting, sorting you out. And I think for most most parts of uh, the issues where people don't really believe that you can be a thing on radio, you know. Um, I mean, nobody did. I mean, even even I didn't think you would propel to such heights because you know the same our peers, for example, you know people that we started off with. That's some people that when I see to them, like, what really happened to this guy? You know, and that's people that didn't accept anything lower than that and, you know you wanted to be something in life you know what i'm saying and you know you you pushed and i saw you pushing the envelope until you won best dj how <laughs> you know how you did that i mean i i was nominated for that i never won it i was nominated i think twice yeah, you no know, once you, yeah you got nominated and i think i'm the most nominated producer in this country but i you think didn't, but that has not gotten in yeah so anyway, maybe, maybe you should tell me the secret. I'm just kidding. I know, man. It's just some <laughs> music, and, and you have been also been. No, I'm just, music, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Right. Yeah. So here's the thing. So um, yeah. So I was off the timetable for like a month. So I was not on radio, mm-hmm. and it was depressing, you know. Yeah. I'm a radio guy, and I, was, I didn't have any other thing. I think I'd finished school then and whatnot, and I only had radio. So I'm not on radio, and I'm I'm, I'm the guy who's my entire life I've, I'm used being on radio, you know. Mm-hmm. And I'm not on radio for like a month. I mean, it's not even nice. So Master LT, we had started hanging out over the weekend. We'd hang out here and there. So LT needed. Uh, he knew what I could do. He knew that I was, you know, he's one of the few guys that saw potential. Mm-hmm. So he said, okay, since you're on suspension, come and join me on my Saturday show, on uh, the Z Experience show. Mm, that's how we started doing the Z Experience together. Yeah, that's how we started doing the Z Experience. I remember when. Yeah, yeah, I remember that time. Yeah. So now, um, it's this night guy <coughs> who has now come in the morning. Okay, and now. The, the bosses are now listening to me in the morning with Master AOT, you know what I mean? Like, no, wait. This guy has to be doing this whole breakfast show. So, like, like I think some, a month or so from then, they, I, I don't know who told who to tell somebody to give me back my shows, but they didn't give me back the two night shows I had. 18 to, yeah. They gave me back, they gave me Monday to Friday, Friday. Mm-hmm. breakfast shows. Wow. Yeah. So, and I believe, like, the, the breakfast show is, like, the... The biggest epicenter. show, the, the epicenter of the shows, and you know, so they give me those shows. Yeah, so me and LT from there we just became like really good friends, and um, we were making money together. We were doing a lot of things together. Remember, we used to do the ZX, the ZX yeah. show in China. He started, he started on his own. Then you started to do it together. Yeah, I, jo- I joined much later. Like maybe they they, they had done it for years before I joined. Mm. Yeah, so we started doing, and we made, I think we we just joined forces and made it big when when we started doing it together. Yeah, um, eventually... And you guys made a lot of money. Yeah, most of it went to LT. It was his baby. Yeah. But you know, Master LT even said he even bought a Benz out of it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I had him here. <laughs> well, you know, we, got, we, we used to share. It, 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 we really did uh, you know, some good. So um, eventually they thought LT wasn't good enough for his show that he had done for 10 years plus. Yeah. 
I don't know what criteria or what thinking was. So they told me you have to take over LT show. And you know how hard it is. Like the boss is not telling your friend, but they're telling you like starting this week you're the one taking over the show. Like have you told him? No, you're telling. No, like doesn't it doesn't work, work like, like that. You know, like it's my friend. You can't. You know. So anyway, I I, I called him. And I asked him, have you heard what's happening at the studio? They were like, oh, no, I haven't. Like, I don't know why your boss doesn't want to tell you, but your boss thinks that maybe I should take it to the show. So I don't know how you're gonna take it. Then he was like, no, I, I've seen it coming. I was just waiting for them to say because they've been saying to my things, things and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But anyway, it's still okay. You can take it up. So yeah, so I took up my my Monday to Friday plus the um, Z experience, and we did it for some time. You did it for years. I did it for years. I think that's where your prominence now. Yeah, and and, and because it was Zambian music from, and I'll tell you this: before those shows, eh, mm-hmm. I used to be this kind of guy who would love to just play R&B music and talk about, you know, uh, the American industry and the guys in SA and whatnot. But then I had this guy called um, I don't know if you remember Dynamite. Dynamite. Yeah, I remember Dynamite. Yeah, so he told me if you want to make a name um, as an, an only a presenter, you need to. Uh, Zambianize everything. Zambianize your 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 craft. I was like, mm. yeah, Zambianize now. Nyamboleto 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 manjibare na niyo nyamboleto. Ah, but so then. But then when I, when I was given the show, it was mandatory. And already I loved Zambian music, so we just I I played Zambian music and and, and I believe in relationships. VGZ tells me that all the time. Mm. Uh, it tells me that I, I've created a lot of relationships around the, in the industry. So. So I, I started doing a show called because um, I wanted to create my own show mm-hmm. as opposed to taking taking up Master Elty's the Z experience. Mm-hmm. So I started doing the Friday interviews. Yeah, so I think like, I remember them. So I would have like a guest on Friday, and I used to call it uh, the Top Eight at Eight. Yeah, I remember that before Hot took it. So Hot took it from me. Oh, they did take it from you. Yeah, I remember having. I can show it to you if you want. I can. I remember having a conversation with one of the guys at Hot then. I was like, man, better show. Then they were like, anyway, who is who is going to know the dog better show? Are you serious? <laughs> they told me point blank. But anyway, yeah. So <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> who, who, who was that? I wanted to know the person that. Ah, Someone. come on. <laughs> <laughs> who told you that? Someone mean enough. But anyway, he's, he's, he wasn't saying it like, like <clears throat> to hurt me, but. It's someone who is always well, like very good friends. So uh, you can tell me anything. You know, is it Tony? No, 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 I can't tell you anything. Never know much about the work of Ashoyago. He knows and knows and then I know that. Never said to us. I'll show you the conversation. It's in the it's in the message at some point. Okay. So uh, the concept behind the top eight at eight was that um, you come as a guest, then you we play eight of your favorite songs. Um, if you're not a musician, you can pick any favorite songs that you like. Eight favorite songs that you like. Yeah, that so makes sense. As we play songs, then we come do the interview. Yeah, as we play the, so we do, we count down. So it's like a countdown, but not really like people are voting because. So it's week, just just come with the top eight. Yeah, every everyone comes with a different list. So yeah, so it, it was from then that I, it didn't start out like we're gonna be pressing each other and being very you know very straightforward on the show it was just like no no more interviews then i started enjoying the fact that sometimes i would ask like one punch question and then it would be like trending after radio you see mm. so I, it taught me something like okay you really need to be doing your research before you go on radio um usually people think that high five or top eight was personal it's not really personal like i have friends um, I like to bring up Makitu because you and me, you know Makitu and me are always together. Exactly. There are things that I can't <coughs> say on air. Mm-hmm. Okay? There are things that I can't say about me, him and me on air. The things that people are like, no, but how can you ask your friend that? It's things that are already out there. And probably people are just speculating. So in fact, when I bring you here and I ask you, so this is probably something that's already out there and I probably want trending. you to, yeah, to maybe just say your side. Then we can move on. Yeah, but sometimes some questions are... I accept. Some questions are very uncomfortable. But people are already talking about them. So I am going to ask you because it's already out there. But if... It's public knowledge. Yes. But if it's it's not out there and probably it's just us who know about it, it's not worth being... You know what I mean? Mm. Being put out there. It's not... That's not what we do. So anyway, I, I, I found out that uh, the show is going to be nicer if... I, I, I did some research on you before I actually got you on. Mm. Um, but the whole media fraternity is like, it's always been like that. You have to do your research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To have a good show, you have to have a research. It's, it's, um, it's where I'm coming from. We didn't really do... 
Look, I'm, uh, let me not sound like I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm being ungrateful. Like I, I Hon FM taught me almost everything I know on radio. Mm-hmm. They gave me a chance for me to be recognized by QFM. Um, we just didn't do the you, the, the certain basics. You know where for for a lot of years I would just go on radio and say, what song do you want to listen to? Come here now. Mm-hmm. That's that that was radio. <laughs> that was radio then. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean. So I realized I when I, when I switched camps, I realized. There's formatting. Fact, there's a, yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot to do. Absolutely. There's, apart from just call me up and listen. If you if you listen to my shows now, you can't call me and request for a song. No. You probably you can do it on our page or anything, but there's like a lot to talk about. You know what I mean? Like, like radio has changed. So anyway, where was I? Um, I found out that you know you had to research so that the interesting the conversation can be interesting. Uh, we did it a couple of times. There was a time. There was a time killer. I remember you were supposed to come on the show. You were supposed to come on the show. I'd been chasing my two. My two had just left a, a big brother house, and I had I did research on him. Um, he was he said he was gonna come on a Friday, but then it wasn't. At some point he was picking, and at some point he wasn't picking. And I knew if I had my two on my show, with the question that I've had on him, this was gonna be a big show. And he was not picking up. Then uh, the other conversation. I'm gonna say everything. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. So um, I told I told Sean I need Mark on the show. Like. Okay, um, he's, uh, he can come, but anyway, just call me tomorrow morning. Mm. This this is the time when you and Mark are not yet. Really. We, were, we were not. We were, we were not. We were not. Um, we had some sparks before then. Like it was just some guy. First of all, I was friends with the other guy from the other camp. Yeah. So automatically, we were not enemies with Mark too, but. This guy is beefing with this guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like this guy it was it was about the same time. <laughs> yeah, and this guy is my friend, you know, for a long time. And then now this guy, uh, first of all, okay, fine. I'm not. I shouldn't be in the middle of the table. It's their problem. So I'm gonna let it slide. And then um, at, at some point, I sent Mark to some money to come to Z Experience, and he didn't come. You send him money? Yeah. So he can just be on Z Experience? Yes. To come to come to Chilang. <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> come and perform. Yeah, and he never showed up. <clears throat> so. Well, it didn't really take offense, but I wasn't happy because I mean, I had advertised that he was going to come anywhere the grid. He didn't come, so so it was like one of the things like ah, this guy, you shouldn't him, guys. So even then, I was like, okay, if I have him, um, he's, he's not interviewed a lot in Osaka. He's in the Commonwealth, so if I have him on the show, it'd be nice. So I was told in the morning, like, send him transport money. I, 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 I it's like you know, I think he had never listened to me, mm-hmm. so he didn't know. So I, I really needed him to come in the show. In the morning, that's why I tell my talk. If you want him to come, send him transport money. Mm-hmm. Then K, um, I don't know if you remember this, KB. You were supposed to come on that same Friday morning show. You were. My two just confirmed like, okay, if you send him transport money, no, not transport money, send transport car. So it meant a taxi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he can come on the show. So obviously, um, I'm the kind of person who was investing. Um, I like to invest into what I'm doing. Uh, it wasn't the money wasn't even come, going to come from the station. It was going to come for me because I knew what it was going to do for my show. Yeah. So I, I sent transport. Um, then you were calling. You needed to come on the show. I didn't know what to tell you because then I had to cancel with you. Oh, I was supposed to come on the show, huh? Eh? Yes. Ah. I didn't know what to tell you because my tour has confirmed and I couldn't tell you that we can't do the show because my system. So I just didn't pick. Think, yeah, I think you got vexed a little bit. You sent something. I said I don't know what you said. You? Seriously, mm. I don't remember that part. Which year was this though? <laughs> Uh, I, I, I can't remember. I, I, it happened to me, I remember. Okay. You were supposed to come on the show. Yeah. Then you called, you were supposed to come on the show, but then I, the guy just confirmed, so I couldn't pick. Then I don't know. You didn't really get upset, but you were, you were not pleased, obviously. Yeah. Um, then Mark came. When Mark two came on the show, we had a good show, and I think he regretted even being. Uh, making me go through all that to bring him on the show. You know what I mean? Like, we really had a good show, and he liked it. The next time he was dropping a single, he yeah. called me. I want to come on the show. There was actually even this guy recording that I did. So that's where, that's where your friendship basically started. Yeah. <clears throat> um, plus, uh, so one time on, and again, I would hook him up with some my shows, you know. So you'd not, oh, Shosta is on radio, promotes my music. Then you can also hook me up with like, a show here and there. So he came on radio and said, This is the only show in Zambia. I remember that. You remember that clip? Eh? Yeah, I remember. Where I called I actually, DJ. I actually, I used to listen to that show a lot. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So it had grown, it had. What, it had what did he say with, exactly? At this the only show? This the only, only show in Zambia where I call a DJ. That recording is still there actually, if you search for it on the internet. Yeah. Where I call a DJ and tell him, Ella, I want to come on the show. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's what they said already. And I recorded that and I put it on the jingle and whatnot. So um, we created like a, a relationship from there. Like now things just started falling in naturally. Uh-huh. Um, years later, <clears throat> this is one of his biggest songs, Lolo Lolo. Yeah. Gave me like a like, nice shout out in the song. Yeah. Uh, that was I also like, give you a shout out on, on uh, you. You uh, gave Alpha's. me a lot of shout outs on the yeah, songs. Yeah, I did. Um, yeah, I did. Alpha, that song. What song is it? With Bayaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So um, like that, and then it was around the time when I I, I had been campaigning for ZME. Yeah, yeah, I remember. So like you know how at some point I really needed it. Like, no, you needed it. Two two years or so before I got it, I campaigned. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. Like why you tell people the artists, even some artists would actually come compare with me because because Zami music that I used to play, so artists liked and appreciated what I was doing on radio. So we campaigned. There was nothing. If when the names come out, it to be you, when I back with FM, back with QFM, yeah, ZNBC people. I'm like, yeah. What's the thing I got? yeah. So then, the time it came, <clears throat> I stopped paying attention. <laughs> but I think that it was. Um, my top eight at eight show had gain, gained momentum. Yeah. Because one of them obviously we were just broadcasting to just Osaka. Mm-hmm. And then that sh- the, the ZMA is needed you to be known countrywide. Mm. So I think that my top eight at the eight show, what I used to do is I used to record the conversations. And put it on YouTube? No, 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 no. It wasn't on YouTube. It was uh, I used to put it on um uh, You had like a podcast, huh? Yeah. Um, what's that? There's like a thing where people used to put their it's like audio, audio microphone back then. Yeah, yeah, was it SoundCloud? SoundCloud, yeah. So I used to put them on SoundCloud, and then I'd, uh, others would probably just, just uh, put it on data file host, and then yeah, I remember. So you you had a vision like from I knew it, you, I knew what I wanted. Yeah, I, I was here before oh, this guy. That's what I said. I said this, this big head of yours. <laughs> You know, has paid I was off here today. ten years ago. I knew it. I was here ten years ago. You don't just have a big head no, for no, nothing. For nothing. No, no, no. So like every 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 week, every week, um, and 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 I knew I had to brand myself. I yeah. needed to, people had said because they would get those would get like a lot of plays on SoundCloud and then they would get like a lot of downloads. Yeah. Like a lot of downloads. Yeah. Like you know where a thirty minutes interview would get maybe twenty thousand downloads in a day. Are you kidding me? Yes. Because uh, data file host would show you how many times it's been downloaded. Yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I knew, like, I was here a long time ago. Yeah. I just didn't know. Yeah. So uh, I, what I wanted, what I said doing is, um, I'll make sure that we record and pick some sort of a statement that an artist or if my guest says, put it out there, then it will go viral. Yeah. So like that meant that even people that were not listening to me on radio would still download and listen to what I do on radio. So it went viral, and uh, that year in 2016, I wasn't even advertising myself for ZMA. I was like, I obviously they have their own people that they want to be giving these, these things. So I was just somewhere just, and then me, my friend just told me, hey, wait, have you seen what's happening to ZMA? I was like, ah. <coughs> then he sent me a WhatsApp, then I saw my name is there. You were one of the people who thought I couldn't win. Don't lie. I'm not lying. You were up for, when I say name, you're going you're gonna to remember and you're going to agree. You were up for Crumbs. You thought Crumbs was going to be nominated. Yeah. And you thought Caristo was going to be nominated. Yeah. Am I lying? Yeah, Caristo got nominated. Caristo did, but yeah. you, you, these names could come to your head. You yeah. thought Crumbs could get it. And you told me, ah, I don't think so. It shows that you're good, but I think Crumbs is going to, he's got a chance and Caristo and then some other name that you mentioned. So Caristo got it. Uh, Caristo got it and I was very happy for the guy. Hey, man. May so rest in peace. You also got nominated. Yeah, I also got nominated and bigger also. But when I saw, I was only scared uh, <coughs> if, if I got a nomination with anybody from ZNBC. No, because that's that's how we got whipped. I mean, I got whipped by uh, DJ Dazzle. Remember? Yes. Because <laughs> for um, three years before I got it. Yeah. Three, three was, was the first. Three was the first one to three win. Three got it, it but. Yeah. The rest went to ZNBC. Yeah, Isn't the rest went. Yeah. yeah, no, because three was not. It, it, there was nobody from ZNBC there because it was three Kaliwa yes. and some guy from Horn FM. No, no, no. Some guy just from some station in town. Yeah, at some station in town. What station was that though? I don't remember. It's bad. If you can't remember the station, then the guy didn't have an impact. <laughs> this is so I don't bad. Remember. I don't remember. Yeah. So yeah, um, the first one there was no ZNBC guy. Then the second one there was uh, uh, someone from ZNBC. Even with the ladies, they picked up. Yeah. So the three. The three, the three awards that came after the um, the first ones, ZNBC, ZNBC, ZNBC people got male and female. 
Yeah, I remember. <laughs> so I don't know what happened, and I don't know what changed when it came to us. There was no, the only, there was there was there was ZNBC, uh, there was Lena, and she was the one who took from female, yeah, female, yes. But from the guys, you were lucky you didn't have anybody. Because when I, when I saw, I was like, I hope there's no one from ZNBC. <laughs> and there was nobody. There, there was no, then I saw me, Carissa, and, and but I knew I was gonna take. Oh, you knew the all along. Just when I saw the list, because um, my show was something new to the industry, and yeah. people were just people just wanted. To wait for the high the, for then uh, top eight at eight and i remember that was the most popular show like for a horn fm guy yes 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 you yes, know yes, yes and i remember i used to tell you i used to we used to have a lot of conversations we used to have we used to have you'd come for some advice yes, yes I'd, 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 I'd come to you i I'd, I'd looked up to you for, uh, yeah. for a long time yeah so yeah um when i saw that i i saw i was gonna get it um until you know my my wife then was uh, <laughs> She was heavily pregnant the night we went for the awards. Mm. So I thought, like, we can't go for the awards. And then she's like, no, I have to go. I was like, anything can happen. She's like, I know you win. I was like, all of us think we will win you. And she's like, go. <laughs> she's like, I'll be fine. <laughs> if you lose. No, she's like, I'll be fine. Like, you won. Then you went. Then when they were almost picking, when they were almost, then the category came now when they were. I'm you know, sure you had your heart in your sleep. I couldn't. I didn't sleep. <laughs> it's some, it's one of the, I don't know how I can explain that situation where now they're going to call out and now we're going to see who's done. I have no idea because I've never won. I've sat, I've sat there for like seven times and my name is always Kip, so I've got no idea how it feels. No, I've won one actually. I, I won best. DJ QFM, I remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I want some money and I want a trip to. South. That's the only time I remember. I think I remember. Something. I think I, I even remember those trips. Yeah, I, I used to listen to QFM a lot. Yeah. So anyway, the moment they mentioned my name, I you, it happened so fast. Like they mentioned a name and you have to go there, you have to give some speech. I don't remember what I did, but I came to watch myself later on YouTube. Seriously? Yeah, like a lot, man. Shano, call. I think that's my name. Clap. Everyone is looking at you. Then you get out. Then you go. I think I I I called I called Karisto May so rest in peace, my young brother. I called him. Um, I called him on stage. I also called um, the other gentleman, Bigger, and Bigger also had been the person I listened to for a long time. I don't know what I said, but I gave some speech to you to do with uniting us. And I think I gave Karisto the their words to hold. Yeah. Then we went out, took some pictures and whatnot. You know, uh, for for a, for a small town, for a guy from a small radio station to be able to compete at that level, I think. And I, that got you the gig at QFM. Not really. Um, I'm going to tell you the QFM story. Mm-hmm. So, with the KFM story, um, like maybe a year or two, two before then, uh-huh. in 2014 actually, yeah. they called me. I went there in 2016 in June. So they called me in 2014 and said, uh, you come through, you know, like come. Then there, there was um, certain things I was doing in my life that I knew if I made, if I made this move now, I can't, I can't manage it. Um, so I, I I was I wanted to buy my first car then mm-hmm. in 2014. So I was doing two jobs. I was doing radio, mm-hmm. and I was doing another job that could, uh, that would allow me to do radio. Then I'd go, you know, uh, afterwards. Mm-hmm. And I knew if, if I went to a station like Q, I, I have to be there at the time I'm supposed to be there. I can't negotiate. You know what I mean? Meaning I'll have to do away with this other job that's helping me save money because I was trying to, I was trying to get myself, myself my first car. So I didn't want to move anyway. So. That was then. Then 2016, I bought my vehicle then. Yeah, the car was now there. Uh, so when I won my, my, my the, the award, then I think some three months. And I didn't really want to move from home. I, I told my manager at home. Because I got to move from interview Jerox Abuela or Dan Diabuela could be my light. Station could be my light. Then I could go to my light. Like, but the, um, uh, you know it's a school. Yeah. The rooms and the classes they are this power at the radio station there's no power. So now you're Jerox or you are dandy crazy or you are then you're just there waiting. Oh okay, my machine can go you manage manager boyla maybe manager boy after nine hours. Show I see that. So now you have to ask the next guy like okay, can we just do an hour show, you know what I mean? Because people are now waiting for the upload also, you know what I mean? People that were not listening to us. So I thought the, um, the the guys at the at the radio station, okay. I've won this award and I'm sure everyone is now paying attention to us. Can we put our house our house in order? And can we at least get genset? You know, so that if things like happen like this, we are, we are running. So things never changed. That's the time when low shading became a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. 2016, somewhere there, things would not change and whatnot. So I'd, I'd get frustrated. Sometimes I think there's an artist who left at nine hours because they had another engagement. Mm-hmm. But because power would come after nine, and then people did not just want to to just put up a genset. 
So KFM code again. I think QFM power and hot code. Or even hot FM code. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Except hot was offering me an evening show. But um, this is the guy that's been doing the breakfast show for the last five, six years, and he's won the best male radio DJ. And I want to get. So you're thinking, so, why are they yeah, giving like, me? Yeah, like why would you give me even breakfast? So at that point, you thought you were big enough, and I thought I was big. I was the best so DJ. So mutuwa kwa kula maningi. Mutuwa kula baje kibi zungu kwa nise. Nishindile mwenye king of radio. Mani pasa certified by ZME. Yeah. Mani pasa nishwa wasi kumuzi nisha panso. <laughs> so KFM said some things that I need to do I, that that really made some sense for me. Yeah. So I went to Q and they gave me a contract. Okay, this is what we can do. Yeah. And, I, and 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 for some time I'd been trying to to put my top eight at eight show on yeah. TV. So I was trying to ask if the KFM guys can pay me. You know that top eight at eight show. <clears throat> I wanted to make it into a TV show now. Then maybe reduce the songs from eight to five. Okay. That's then, how you got that high five. Then you can call it high five. Yeah. <laughs> Visionary. So you were born seven years ago, and you thought about it ten years prior. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, so I was trying to sell it, the idea to the QFM guys, but then they were like, ah, no, maybe sometimes it can be hard. The manager then was like, maybe sometimes it can be uh, paying you won't be like the immediate option. So maybe you know you have to work with the guys for some time and whatnot. Hmm. Uh, yeah, my face must be kind of shy. Just left X Y Z then, so there was that controversy and whatnot. Yeah, so we started with consistency and we're here now. Yeah, how yeah. many years did you start that? It's four years now? It's, it's um, in, in 2016. After, End of 2016. After, uh, end, of, uh, end of 2016, yeah. So 17, 18, 19, 20, so three years now. Yeah, three years now. And I've seen your channel grow from strength. And you know, like when we started, that's why I said, you know what, that inspired me because I, I'm also the type of person that likes to pay attention to what's happening, you know, because, you know, whether you like it or not, trends are always going to change. And it's always nice to also kind of hang out with younger people than you because they know what's trending. Like even producer wise, like even I like to hang out with younger producers, younger artists as well, because they know what's trending. Yes. They know what's popping and what's happening. So, you know, I've been paying attention to YouTube channel, you know, and, I'm, and you know, you, you have the YouTube channel when nobody else cared to have a youtube channel like you know people in zambia didn't like even you see the numbers like you see somebody like a big artist has got like 70 follow like 70 subscribers on youtube channel we never paid i had i opened my channel in 2013 i only had one video i think it was alpha song uh what song was that i've forgotten the name of the song i need to go back to the channel and see huh? yeah and for the longest of time my numbers on on my youtube channel was so slow like after like you know my you know when I when my numbers tripled like two months ago mm -hmm. when I posted diary my diary the first episode you no know, no no before the conversation my diary ate the audio oh the audio is you know I had about six hundred subscribers it's me so when I uploaded it so when I started telling people <coughs> to subscribe mm -hmm. I just noticed that in two days I had like one thousand four hundred subscribers it's me yeah. Then you realized. I realized like okay I'm waking up now so when I started that's when I knew like you know what this is the right time to start putting my diary conversation. That's how I called my producer and told him, listen, I think I'm ready, I wanna do this, yada yada. So when we started putting it now, the numbers just, you know, skyrocketed and you know, and I saw an opportunity from there. So yeah, I mean, there's so many ways that people can make their money and learning. And for you, it's pretty good because you had the vision I, so I didn't I was even here know that sound like ten years ago. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Your big hair has really helped you because I, 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 you use I, I, it. To I don't know. <laughs> I, I meet I meet my friends. I meet my friends who um, I used to go to school with before, way before the butchery thing and whatnot. They used to tell me that uh, you said you would be a radio presenter. Oh, you used to say that. I don't remember. <clears throat> you don't remember that. Yes, and, and and then someone tells me you said you will have like uh, you'll be the morning host. You'll be the morning host with a very with one TV show, but it's very powerful, like very. So you prophesize everything. Trendy. That's what my friend tells me. Some guy called Mishik. He was he was my a cl a close friend of mine in high school. Yeah, that's what he used to uh, he used to tell me. So I'm I'm here like even the website thing. You know how um, my website. I, I remember think, how you started. Yeah. Even even before Killer, even before, I just saw a memories a month ago. Yeah. Of something I. Posted in 2013, uh -huh. I said www.djshowstar.com. Are you kidding me? In 2013, and the website just started like uh, two years ago. Yeah. Or so. It's been two a years year, already. No, a year plus. A year plus. And it's, it's. I think it's the most trending website right now in the country. I That's remember cool. reaching out to me. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um. So when 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 we started, uh, you know, I I I could have given it another name. 
Yeah. But then it's like it's like uh, it's like uh, what how I feel about artists who you already have like a big name then you want to switch to another name. Yeah. I, in my opinion I think like you bring yourself again you have to you, 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 you have, have to start, start from scratch, scratch yeah. again. So I thought I think that we've built Showstar, you know, the brand. DJ Showstar. Mm-hmm. So I thought that if we just just give this same brand the, the website I think it will get in, it will be to get the impact faster than if we just call it some other name, you know. Yeah, I mean? that's true. So and I think that because of the name that the website carries, I think that's what it has helped it become what, what it is right now. But anyway, it's it's, it's um it doesn't happen overnight. Like like I look I look at my 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 YouTube channel. Like I think I've just I'm just dedicated. Yeah. And I think that if it, it was just one of those things where if I just do it when I have time or in my free time, I don't think it was gonna be where it is right now. Mm. And I think w- when you look at numbers, just I think. It, I'm, I'm happy, but you know, I, we could do better. Absolutely. Yeah. I remember you. You would ask me for my opinion. What do you think about my show? And yeah, I, yeah, know, yeah. Man, I'll always ask you. And I I'll still... give you my two cents. And I always say, for me, I always say, like from Horn FM, you're one of my favorite. Like I won't lie to you, I was a big fan. You know, I was on radio too, but I never missed your show. I was going. I think my radio show. I think when I moved to yeah, when I moved to to, to Rock FM. Yes. My show was. I think the first show I did was like from 9 to 12. Yes, we're doing so, the 9 to 12. So before I start my show, I used to do the breakfast show. Yeah, I'd show. make sure that before I listen, before I start my show, you listen to I'll tune into your show and good, listen man. to it because I thought you were one of the few people that actually understood what radio was all about. You had the content. You just, you are not just a DJ that would just get there and just do requests and everything. And you know, you, you kept it, you kept it really interesting and I loved that. And I always listen to it. And when you ask for advice and I always tell you this and I've seen you grow you know into something bigger now you've got your own website you've got your own youtube channel your numbers are pretty good by the way Thank but you, I'm, I'm, I'm i'm catching up I'm, I'm, <laughs> you need to i'm catching up i mean i'm just i'm just like a month in like two months <laughs> you need to man but we're coming but you know this is it's a good movement i'm trusting roberto yeah you're when almost I'm, there when i'm at 10 he's um no he's always left me at 10 like with, no but you'll catch up soon he's always 10 ahead of me you know why i think you always you, you because you have content that you can put up even like every, every day. day yeah yeah yeah, you see yeah, yeah while it's yeah, like yeah. for an artist an artist yeah. is only going to put content when he's a doing video, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah you see yeah, what i'm yeah, trying yeah, to say yeah, so yeah. we have a big advantage because we actually have content that people can consume so people constantly be on on, on, on our, our youtube channel yeah. exactly so that 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 helps out my show yeah. goes on on air every week there's a different episode yeah but with the ones that have got no scandals no one pays attention to them <laughs> and then there, there are people like maybe i'm going to tell you people like uh i don't want to mention names but anyway Certain people like there's no way I'm gonna talk about your life without mentioning some of the things that are around you. Like they're around you, so we'll talk about them. Yeah. So, but it's not about controversy. It's just about speaking the truth. Like, it's just like this this yeah. conversation. Yeah. yeah. It's an honest conversation. Yeah, an honest conversation. So we have it and we're good. Yeah. And and, and you'd be surprised. Like some people think you know they're enemies. Chan, chan. We just don't show you everything. But even 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 when. But you know what really shook me. Okay, my producer said wrap it up. Okay, we need to wrap it up. What shook me the most is that market two interview that you had. I felt like the question that you asked was so outrageous. Like I, I saw him walk out. I'm like, I'm like, if 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 Shosta did that to me, I'm gonna slap him. Then I thought about it. I said, you know what, Shosta is a smart guy. Shosta is not gonna do something without calculating the risk. I I I, I was like, I'm always ten years ten years ahead. I, I, I in my head afterwards, and you know when I saw a lot of debate, in my head I just said, you know what, I think that was a calculated move. I think. I think Makitu must have expect. I don't want to. I don't want to blow the bubble, but I think it's just you have never told me. But I, for me, it's an assumption. I think it was because you guys are still cool. Like even after that, I see you, you clown. You're always in Makitu's car. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm well, like, I was packing my car. <laughs> and he's right. I'm like, if Makitu was was pissed, why would he still be hanging out with this clown? You know what I'm saying? No, the, same so. day, the same day when he walked out, we walked out together. In fact, then we went. I think we we're going to Chongo that day. We we leave, we left the show for social media social media and everybody else to argue. And our and, lives went on. And it was it was chaos. <laughs> you know what, whatever you do in Shosta, you you you've done a good job for yourself. And you know I I, I wish this conversation would have continued, but I guess we can wrap it up here. My yeah, producer, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, pretty man, much yeah, it. Man. We've talked you know, so much for, for and my producer saying we can have we can have a part two with this guy, yeah. I think we're gonna have a part two. Shosta, yeah, thanks a lot for Anytime. making Anytime. it through, man. Thank it's, you, man. It's, Thank it's you. always a ball with you. Thank you, man. Thanks and, a lot, man. And, and I and I, I hope the best for you. Everything that you're doing, and I'm always praying for you. And it's a blessing. Let's make money, 
and let's make more money and let's not forget each other. You know what I'm saying? You, me, and, me, me, me and KD are making money, but we're not telling you how. <laughs> <laughs> of course we are. All right. Cheers, my brother. Cheers, my guy. Stay easy. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank All you. All right, cool. <laughs>